Hey guys, this is Jeremy from the TV Box Professionals and today I just want to take a couple of minutes and show you a great little app for your Android TV Box called um, the TV Launcher. As you can see it's right here, TV Launcher. It's a picture of a screen with uh, several squares there. So this is an H96 Pro Plus uh, TV Box. So this is just a standard layout when you turn on your box and as you're going to find out, as you're going to see the TV Launcher app lets you customize your your load screen or your launcher with um, whichever applications and format it how you want into menus. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to click on it and it'll come up, it'll introduce itself the TV launcher is a perfect launcher for your Android TV experience here are some things we think are great so you just hit next uh, launch your favorite app right from the home screen find them in the app drawer I'll show you that create categories or sections for all your favorite categories use hundreds of tile images created and shared by many users so you actually have the option to upload pictures and create tiles for each individual app which is actually a really awesome feature and it just thanks you for using the app so I'm just gonna go ahead and click done and this is the screen just a basic screen that'll come up after you you uh, actually open the TV launcher app so this is the menu up here. These are your categories, favorites, media, games, or utilities. That's just the standard, um, the standard categories or headings. So if I wanted to add something to my favorites, I would just touch this plus box. And then I would choose applications, create a shortcut to a um, web page or a bookmark and once again you can create tiles for those too. So I'm just going to go into applications and this is a list of the applications that I've installed. So I'm just going to grab one at random. How about APK Pure? And we'll just add that and we'll add a couple more app installer, Crackle and complete Cody setup wizard. So I'll just back out of that and there you have all of those apps so these are links directly to those apps so if I long press on one of those tiles it actually comes up with a window where I can reposition that tile so I can put it over in the middle if I want hit OK I can change the color of the tile make it green if I want I can remove it uninstall it change categories after I put it in favorites I decided I might want it in media or I can create my own tile for that. So if I hit create, it lets me access all my files. And I can pick one. Maybe I can make a custom one in Photoshop or GIMP or something like that. And then the whole community that utilizes this app will have access to it. But I'm just going to pick one of the ones that was already made. So I'm gonna, I like this one right here. I'm going to apply it. And... Just, I can show you here that people, it gives you the opportunity to rate it also. So this is the most popular one for APK Pure. So, same thing goes for if I want to put a custom tile with Crackle. While Crackle doesn't have very, ma very many available tiles, so you might want to create your own or just use the standard one. So on the, the menu, we can manage our sections. We can create a new section, right? Call it. Maybe we want to call that movies. And we can save it. Change the color to pink, icon of a TV, or maybe we want a movie reel. And we can choose the position. I want that in the first position. Or we can delete it if we made a mistake. So as you can see now, all of there's an additional heading. Let's back out. There it is, movies up there. 
So if I wanted to take so some of the other options we have, we can change the theme. You can have a light theme, which is this background here. Or we can pick the dark theme, and that's what that changes. Settings, system settings. This is just your, your standard Android box settings. Some of the Android boxes or some of the devices doesn't have uh, application wallpaper support so you can turn that on and then you'll be able to have a wallpaper I've only found that actually happens maybe with the A95X and a few more we can change your wallpaper we can choose from whatever we have stored either on our box or on a memory stick you can enable a space animation background which is basically just stars shooting by and other animations for two ninety nine, you can remove the ads, but they uh, they don't really bother me, so I I wouldn't pay for it. Or you can donate five dollars to the developer. You can use icons at the top if you prefer, instead of the headers that we were creating earlier. So if we turn that off, you can see that the the icon that we chose for movies, the movie reel, is there. What else do we have under settings? We can lock the home screen. So what will happen when we lock the home screen, it will actually get rid of this plus button. So you can't inadvertently add more tiles that you didn't want. So I'll just click it just to demonstrate on. And as you can see now, that's gone. And the last option is we can change the number of grid columns on the home screen. So you can put it up to five, which is handy, but I actually prefer three. It gives it just a clean look. There's not too many, and there's not too few. The last thing I'm going to demonstrate is... Uh, the list of all your applications over on the side. You can sort them alphabetically, filter them, or put them in a grid format. So this is your uh, it's your launch bar. You can go in here and pick any one of these, and it'll just launch it. So that's it. Once again, this is Jeremy from the TV Box Professionals, and I just did a quick demonstration of TV Launcher for your Android TV Box or it's also available on uh, your smartphone, your Android-enabled smartphone. Okay, guys, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.